Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Blessing again. Today I want to make a video about dealing with loneliness slash other people are not medicine. So, um, dealing with loneliness. Like, I was in a relationship with someone that I saw almost every day for the best part of this whole year and I spoke to every day. So, now that I have no contact with the person whatsoever, it's obviously very difficult because a big chunk of my routine has been taken out and then also at the same time as dealing with that one of my really really close friends that I saw every day and spent a lot of time with every day has also moved to a different country so clearly I feel so much more empty than I should or I would have if these two things hadn't occurred and I was speaking to one of my one of my friends shout out Doyen yeah, I was speaking to her and she kind of made me understand that other people are not medicine. Those are not her words, but this is what I've gotten from what she was saying and what I've been thinking about it. Other people are not medicine. You can't make other people the thing that makes you feel better about yourself. I actually realized that I was so dependent on other people and being with them and how they made me feel that now that they're not in my life anymore, I feel empty. I have been using other people as medicine. I have been using other people to make myself feel better, to make myself feel worthy, to make myself feel like I'm happy, like I have a life. And if other people aren't in my life, I feel like I don't have a life. I feel like I'm alone, I feel lonely. And that's terrible because human beings are human beings and they're going to let you down. So now I realize that the number one reason you are feeling lonely is because you have made yourself dependent on other people. You have made other people your strength. And other people can't be medicine. Other people can't make you feel better because other people are people. And people, I've told you this before, people will let you down. Not because they choose to, not because they want to, but because they are humans. And humans are so fallible. So I wanted to just give you a few tips with dealing with loneliness and learning to be there for yourself so i think the first thing to do when dealing with loneliness is to get used to being by yourself get used to being alone and enjoying it you have to enjoy your own company because in this world the only person that will never leave you the only person that will never go away from you the only person that you will always constantly have with you at all times it is yourself right every person family in fact I love my family my family is amazing but they're not here with me right now I'm on my own in this in this different city and they're all the way in London you know and they're not here so if you are the only company you have why not enjoy that company why not learn to make yourself your best friend what's wrong with being alone well I mean I got into Game of Thrones I was like oh my god and I started enjoying my time alone because just because you're alone doesn't mean you're lonely the two don't come hand in hand so you can be with people and still be lonely like I want to get to the level where I can go out to a restaurant sit down by myself and eat and not feel some type of way because right now I'm not gonna lie to you I can't do that like <laughs> but I want to get to the point where I'm so confident in myself in my own little bubble that I can do that and it's not a thing date yourself I think Abigail Quakey Sorry if I spot you say your name wrong. She has a video about master date. And I think it's about, you know, dating yourself and learning who you are. And that's all part of loving yourself and self-worth. I think back to my friend, hey Doyen, she was saying when people come to visit when her friends come to visit her, she's happy. When they leave, she's happy. When they leave, it doesn't become like, oh my gosh, now I'm alone. She doesn't she not, no part of her changes. She doesn't become sad that they've left. No. She's just as happy when they're there, just as happy when they're not. So be so comfortable with yourself, with your own company, that when people come or when they leave, it doesn't change how you feel about yourself. Yeah. Number two is reach out to other people. Now the thing is, as much as I'm saying, oh, I'm alone, I'm alone, I'm constantly talking to people, I'm constantly on the phone with people, I'm constantly messaging people. What stops me from saying, I'm going to come over? 
do you want to come over let's do this let's go out and get something let's go out and get a drink let's go out and get some food what stops me from doing that and i kind of realize as much as i complain about being alone i actually like being alone otherwise i would do something about it so rather than just sit there and moan about oh my god i'm lonely oh my god nobody wants me reach out make an effort if you don't have friends near you go out and make them go join us if you're in university join societies go to events if you're working you know maybe go out with a work colleague go out put yourself in situations that you're going to have to meet make friends you're gonna have to meet people and you know there's there's only so much complaining is gonna do complaining isn't gonna bring people to your door you have to bring people to your door number three is that not to overthink don't overthink like i am if there was a crown for like the biggest overthinker in this world that's me i can overthink one plus one you thinking one plus one is two? No. I'll be like, okay, one plus one. There are different things that this could be. This could be 11. This could be one plus hyphen minus one. I would just... I am the overthinker in the universe, right? That doesn't even make sense, but... See, I, uh, I just overthink overthinking. But what I realize is when you are alone and you're overthinking, it's just going to make you more feel more alone. It's going to make you more lonely. And you don't want that to lead to things like depression. So try not to overthink any situation. Make yourself busy so that you don't overthink. Because if you overthink, then it's going to make an already bad situation worse. Which also leads on to number four. Occupy your time. So it's kind of similar to go out there and make friends, but this is just about doing things alone. Pick up a hobby, like YouTube, I'm doing a lot more now because I have a lot more time on my hand. My blogs, I can focus on, on. I want to learn how to sew, like occupy your time that doesn't necessarily need other people. You don't need other people to learn how to sew. You don't need other people to, to work out. Oh my gosh, me and the gym, if you, if you have me on Snapchat, me and the gym are, <clears throat> we're becoming best friends. Like, yeah, working out, I think it releases endorphin endorphin serotonin anyway like chemicals that make you feel happy so go to the gym work out now i'm using this alone time to get my body on fleek so when you see me in my next lookbook or my first one i don't have a lookbook but when you see me in a lookbook you'll be like yes girl yes because i'm working on myself and number five which is like um it's only gonna apply to you if you're a christian but if you're not a christian then you know just bear with me as usual yeah so if you are a christian use this time to get closer to god i think being alone is so much worse when you don't feel like there's a greater kind of and it also makes you feel less alone because you know that you've got god and you can always go to him in prayer you can study his word it gives you can still communicate with god so having god and having someone if you're not um christian if you're having allah or having i don't know whatever your god is or your higher power having him makes you less alone because you know that you're not alone because there's someone who's always looking out for you your alone time is your time to really study the word and know who you're serving and know your god and know what you believe you know so yeah thank you so much for watching guys i hope it helped it's supposed to be a short video as usual i don't think it was short I, it never is it's never short but i'm gonna try and edit it down <laughs> as much as i can but i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to comment subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed like and share to all your friends and if subsequently you're dealing with anything or you need help with anything feel free to email me to message me i'd love to talk to you and also i would like to have, have a segment on the channel where people write in um send emails with problems and advise you in a video and other people can advise you as well i used to get emails of the sort but i never did it on video but i'd like to like start doing that now so you can kind of use your problems to help other people basically but yeah 